Hey everyone, so what kind of house does $1.5 million get you in Seattle? Stay tuned, today I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of a $1.5 million house in the sought after neighborhood of Capitol Hill here in Seattle. Hey there, so if you're tuning in to this, it's probably because you have some sort of interest in real estate in Seattle, or you wanna get a little bit more educated about Seattle and what neighborhoods you could be in. So today I'm taking you on a tour of a $1.5 million listing here in the Capitol Hill neighborhood of Seattle. Now this is a home that we have listed and it's going to go onto the market so that other buyers can come and look at it and see it. But this is just an example of what is out there in our marketplace to give you an idea of of what you could buy in Seattle. Now, this is more of what I would call a luxury listing because it is over that $1.5 million mark here in Seattle, even though the average home price is around eight to 900,000 and it continues to go up each year, this is a little bit above that. So it is more of a luxury listing. Now, the home that we're going to go through is not just a single family home or a home without any yard around it. It's actually a town home. So single family homes have a yard around it. You own the lot. You you own the land. So it's actually built with other homes on the same lot. It shares one wall and then it also shares a garage with those neighbors. So this is a very popular style of home here in Seattle and it's one that we see a lot of people purchase because they want to be in a more dense neighborhood like Capitol Hill or because they don't want to do as much maintenance around the lot or the yard. In terms of investment, this is a great investment in Seattle because these do appreciate. They don't appreciate as quickly as single family homes homes do in Seattle, but they appreciate more than condos in Seattle, historically speaking. So this is a great investment for any buyer who wants to get into the market. Um, it's more of a vertical living style, as you'll see from the tour we're about to go on. Now, Capitol Hill is one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's one of the best neighborhoods in Seattle. It is the epicenter of nightlife in Seattle. It is also the hub of all LGBT life in Seattle. And there's a lot to do. A lot of people land in in Capitol Hill when they come to Seattle because it is a great place to be. You have restaurants, you have shops, you have grocery stores, you have the nightlife I mentioned before, and there's a lot of just culture in Capitol Hill. It's a great spot to be, very walkable. You can get almost anywhere from Capitol Hill in the city that you might want to go. Now, some of my favorite places close to this specific home are Top Pot Donuts, obviously. Top Pot is also on uh, Belmont, just a couple of blocks away. Here you can also get to Cal Anderson Park really easily. You can also go to Single Shot, which is one of my favorite restaurants in Capitol Hill. Now, Capitol Hill is an um, interesting mix of all types of housing because you do have condos. It's a denser area. You also have townhomes like these. And on the north side of Capitol Hill, you also have a lot of single family homes that are very expensive. So it has an array of styles of home as well as an array of different types of people who live in this neighborhood. It's a really uh, big melting pot and a lot of different genres of homes that you can get into here in Capitol Hill. For those of you who have never toured a home in Seattle, you might be surprised because homes here can often seem a little bit smaller than what you might be used to in the rest of the country. You know, Seattle does rank quite high on the list in terms of what it costs to live here. So we do have homes where in the Midwest, like where I'm from, you actually would be paying a lot less for a home of this size. So it might be a little bit shocking as to what you're going to see, but it's a really great property. It is one that our sellers have ready to go for other buyers on the market, and I can't wait to showcase it to you today. So with that, we're gonna head on over to the property and we're gonna take a tour. And I can't wait to see what you all think of this. So this is a townhome in Capitol Hill. Uh, Capitol Hill is one of the best known neighborhoods in the city. The reason it's so well known is because there's a lot of nightlife, there's a lot of stuff to do around Capitol Hill, a lot of restaurants. So it's really fun for going out. A lot of people land in Capitol Hill when they first move to the city because of that reason. You have everything around here. It's denser, so you have a lot of people in Capitol Hill, so you don't get as much space in homes. 
And that's why this home is really exciting because it is a lot bigger. So you get a lot more space. So this townhome has three levels. I'm gonna take you through it. And it has something very common for townhouses, which is a rooftop deck. So I'm gonna take you through that as well. So let's start here with the kitchen. The reason this kitchen is really nice is because it is well furnished with all of these high-end appliances. You can see the paneling on the fridge. So this makes this kitchen actually really nice high-end. It's not super common to have islands in townhomes unless they're a little bit more expensive. And this home is listed just under 1.5 million. So for that reason, it is nice that you already have a island here and have kind of a bigger kitchen. As you can see, I love the open shelving. It looks really pretty. And the great Wolf appliances and Sub-Zero fridge, which is awesome. A lot of people pay attention to appliances, so that's really important. Now you do have space here in the townhome for a dining room as well as a living room. You have a gas fireplace, which isn't super common as well. And then you have some outdoor space, which I love because if you come to see Adel, you know that sunlight is super important. And so having these big doors here is really important for a home in Seattle because you get more sunlight. So even though we're tucked away off the street, as you can hear, it's very quiet outside you feel like there's privacy even though you're in a really bustling neighborhood and have a lot of stuff around. So we're gonna head up to the next level and I'll take you through that as well. Um, the other thing to finish off this level is there's just a half bathroom, which is great for entertaining. Gotta love that portion of it because that makes it easy for you to have guests and they just stay all on this level. Okay, so as we come upstairs, this is sort of an uncommon layout for a townhome because you have a full laundry room here you have extra closet space, and then we're going into the primary bedroom here. Most townhomes, either you have one level with two bedrooms on the bottom and then a bedroom on the top split by the main living level, or you have the living level and then you have all three bedrooms above, but you don't often see that the primary bedroom is actually just on the second level because usually it's on the top level, but this one you have the primary bedroom here. As you can see, the bedrooms are super spacious. You have a full walk-in closet as well and then another outdoor deck here, which is great. So in Seattle, you don't always have a lot of outdoor space, but here you have another outdoor space. This is the second of three outdoor spaces you get. Come in here, I gotta show you the bathroom, which is amazing. So here you can see in this town home, you have a five piece bathroom, which basically means you have the toilet, two sinks, a soaking tub, and a separate shower. This is a really nice town home for that reason, you get a little bit of upgrades here that you don't get in all the newer, more modern townhomes because those are typically built very narrow and skinny. So they don't have as much room for the bigger bathroom like this or the bigger bedroom that we just went through. Okay, so now we're here on the third level. You have a full bathroom right here, which is awesome. And then you have these two bedrooms. Both of these bedrooms have views, which is pretty amazing uh, for something on Capitol Hill. So usually when you're in Capitol Hill where you have a super dense neighborhood like this, you don't always get views because there's so many buildings. But we're on the north end of Capitol Hill, so you can look out and you can see some water. You can also see Lake Union once we get to the rooftop, which is really awesome. So this is the third and final bedroom. As you can see, we have a lot of greenery outside of the windows and again, a great view of the uh, downtown as well as the Puget Sound, which a lot of people love. Okay, here we are on the top level. So this is the rooftop here. As you can see behind me, you can get views of Lake Union, which is close to Amazon, South Lake Union. A lot of people who work at Amazon live on Capitol Hill to start. And then if you look past the trees, you can also see the Puget Sound. And on the other side, you'll see the Olympic Mountains, which are really beautiful. So obviously up here, you could hang out, entertain, have a barbecue, and you will have really great sunsets as well. Thanks so much for joining me on that tour. It's super awesome to be able to show you properties in Seattle and give you a feel for what it's like, not only being in real estate, but also what it's like to live in a city like Seattle. I hope that you enjoyed being able to see a property like this. As I mentioned in the tour, this is more of a luxury property. And I mentioned that at the beginning as well, because it is in that price point, it's listed at $1.5 million. I plan to have future videos about lower price listings, so 
you can see and compare and contrast what it's like to live in different price points in the city of Seattle. I, as a real estate broker, I mostly work in this heart of Seattle. So I see a lot of different variations in property, a lot of different variations in price point. So I'm gonna try to bring you that value to show you exactly what you can get at different prices. But this is more of a luxury listing. It has some of those higher end finishes and it offers a little bit different variety in terms of the three parking spaces. It also offers the views from the top floor and the gigantic rooftop balcony. It's also in a really nice area of Capitol Hill there on the north side. So that all contributes to the higher price and making it more of a luxury listing. I really typically hate when people say luxury listings because people will, you know, say luxury about anything, but this is truly a home that has some enhancements that make it a little bit more luxurious. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this tour so much and let me know what questions you have about the property. I am trying to make content that is valuable to our community and people who want to learn more about real estate or investing or Seattle specifically. Let me know what you think and I can't wait for you to see the next video and hopefully you'll subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much for tuning in. We will see you all again next time.